Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain the fur properties. Uh, if you turn on the render, go into the fabric, and it's <coughs> in the type, we have render only that you can use the render only in render material. Here is a fur. If you click the fur, this is our fur. It's uh, created on both sides. <coughs> uh here you can change the color of the fabric the fur uh, define the color of the fabric and gives to it for example uh yellow a brown fur as you can see this is an fur and it gives to the thickness any thing that you want here for example as you can see yeah it's correct <clears throat> this is an fur it's very easy and then if you assign the fur we have a fur properties here it's here it's very it has a lot of sitting first we begin to uh melanin film melanin glassiness glassiness boost softness what is this uh i prepare a uh, image from the Clotrd help that's very helpful look at them <clears throat> this is the fur as you can see you can create these shapes with the fur setting from melanin from for example if the fill melanin is zero if you increase or decrease the number of the melanin as you can see, you can create between white to the dark of that color. For example, you have a brown, you can go to the washout or very saturate of that. This is melanin. Another thing, if a melanin is a, a constant number, if you change the number of the film melanin, as you can see, you can change the color of it. And here the glassiness boost glassiness softness if you want to uh, shiny uh, fur you have to gi give these numbers to that you can change them and experiment them to achieve your results okay that's very easy to curl okay go back interesting refresh it Okay, so these are about color. Uh, fur gradient, it's very interesting. Uh, you can add a gradient color to your fur and uh, it does not concern the fabric color. Here you can, you have a mid tip. This is a tip of the, this is a bottom to the top of the fur. This is a tip, mid and mid position, tip position. For example, I give a very defined color to the mid color. As you can see, the base color is that brown from the fabric. And here you can, sorry for this, this color is at the top. And in the tip of color here, you can change the position of the this color. If you want to more this uh, color, you can change the position of the tip color. This is an interpolation. It means they're interpolated color. But if you want more define the border of the color, you can turn it off. Okay, this is for gradient. It's very interesting. And in, in this section, we can change the shape. This is the most important things. Here is the length. You can increase or dec decrease the length of the fur. Interesting. Here you can change the thickness. And here change you can change the bend. The bend is uh, independent with the gravity here. Oh, as we can see, we have a lot of sitting here. Here we have a gravity, and as we can see in the force 10, in a this is a y act, uh, vector y, and it is negative one. It means exactly for uh, 
uh, specify the gravity interesting if you want to further go up change the gravity in a y-axis at the top up it's very interesting so the gravity is dependent to the bend if you don't have any bend the as you can see they are go straight forward so the bend is very important number to bending <coughs> the fur the bend the taper one the taper means the tip on the top of the uh, the thickness the, the end of the fur if this one it means the end of the fur is very very thin but if you zero it it means the yeah, for example at the bottom we have a one millimeter for example fur and it's go to the zero it means very thin uh end of the fur the density is very important if you want to as you can see we have a we can control the density of our <coughs> fur here so we can change the density of the fur there segments it's very important if you want to as you can see change the curl and the bend here we have okay this is segment if we have more segment we can better control the curve and curl and uh, we have a smooth uh, curve fur. but if we have smaller number of segments we cannot go good control of it so the segment is good i think a 10 is better for me okay this is a gravity this is a base uh fur parameter nice here we can uh, change the fur shape fur shape if you oh, we have lots of sitting here base base map as you can see you can give a map to your uh, length to your thickness and density uh, for example in this file we have a black and white map it means uh, for example in a black area we don't have any fur in a white area we have fur okay i can give this pass to the software to assign it i assign that map to the density okay now we have in a curl curl radius and curl number here you can control the curl this is a curl curl number one number two if we have a radius five of the curl you can see it better here if sorry this is an curve if the curve number is one and the radius change we have something like this you can play with the number and see what the happen this is an curve the variance is very important because it gives a randomness to our fur. It gives a randomness to our fur. Uh, variance, it's in a one. It means variance in the thickness, variance in a direction. It's a 100%. No, no gravity. Yeah. Sometimes gravity variance in a curl if you have a curl and you can do various in anything thickness density gravity you can change them okay i lost we can change the density and the segment if you want okay this is unfair it's very easy and straightforward you can play with the settings to achieve your Go. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.